I've got to be very careful not to die here. No, don't die. Okay, <laughs> it's getting aggressive. Hey everyone, my name is James, and today we're taking a look at a very interesting project for Terraria that was once illegal, but now isn't. And that sounds very scary, but once I explain it, I imagine you'll understand. So today we're taking a look at a mod called Consolaria, and what this mod intends to do is add back in every piece of removed content from the console versions of Terraria. Now you all know that last year Ocran was completely removed from the next gen versions of the game, and this will follow through probably to the mobile edition of Terraria 1.3, so all of that content is now gone. Now if you don't know, if you don't play console at all, console have had all of these items exclusive to their platform for about five years, and this mod will actually re-add all of that here today on PC for the very first time. So this is made by a guy called Hasta and another one called Mr. Pigeon. And the cool thing is they're not only making this mod, they're making a bigger mod called Rune of Ages. So just a little shout out to that project because I'm so excited for what they've done here today. To go over some of the things that they've added, they've added back in Okram, all of the custom armor sets, the original soundtrack, boss checklist, the Chinese New Year event, that is from the mobile edition of Terraria. The purple hero set, the fabulous and George set, as well as a brand new top hat. I'm so excited for this. I know that was a proper mouthful to start off a video. But you guys know that this stuff getting removed was a really big deal. My video actually discussing this garnered over a million views, which is really mental for a Terraria video. It's not because it was a good video. It's because of the fact that people were very curious as to why it was being removed. So we're using Heroes mod for this, which is going to be really handy because I want to make sure that I actually talk about pretty much everything that is included in this mod because I know that a lot of players have not seen this or not seen it in a very long time. And it actually adds in its own custom sprites for some of these items to make it a little bit better. So just to start off with, the reason why console items and mobile items are not as well loved are because of the fact that most of them are actually re-sprites. Like this, for example, is just a pink tuxedo. This is the George set, so it's now added in on PC. You've also got the Purple Hero set, which I guess goes along with the mod. They added the Purple Hero set to avoid trouble with Nintendo because PC has the Link set and we don't want that on other console platforms. <laughs> so I don't actually know if this is green on the Nintendo Switch. We will have to find out. But here it is in purple and we'll take that off. So one of the things that console adds is spectral arrows. You can either make these or you can get them from the Sharanga. And talking about the Sharanga, here it is. It's been re-sprited and I really like the re-sprite. It looks cool. Look at that. It's not exactly how I remember it, but it looks good. And even these arrows have been re-sprited too. But this is a weapon that a lot of people love because of the fact that it allows players to have a little bit more damage at a point where they kind of need it if they're not as good of a player. So you make that using two molten bows, I believe. So that's why it's so loved. The God Set, this is actually from the console edition. These items were never actually added into the game. They're in the game's source code and little image packaging and stuff. But here it is. And the cool thing is, it's actually been uh, sprited to work, because obviously you can't just port over an image. You have to add a little bit of work to it. So really cool. You've got the fabulous ribbon, which is just a ribbon. Very cool. Oh, I like that. It actually sways. That's, that's kind of cool. So the big main event is actually Okram. Now, what they've done is they've added in an expert mode Okram bag. I'm going to open this up now, because I'm not playing on an expert mode world. So to open it up, you get a piece of armor. You also get some Souls of Blight. You get the Vulcan Repeater. Very cool stuff. And you get some Adamantite Ore, which is really cool. Now, one of the things that you could have got in the Mobile Edition, but it was removed, is these red envelopes. This is for Chinese New Year. So you can open these up and it will give you firecrackers and also money. And these firecrackers, they look like this. Kind of cool. They seem to be a little bit different from how I remember them. It's been a very long time since I've actually uh, discussed them. The Cursed Fang. I don't even know what this is. Equiptable. Melee and thrown attacks inflict enemies with spectral flames. Ooh. So one of the things they're intending to add is Lepus and Turkle. These are two bosses from the mobile edition that have not been added into this. I really hope they get added soon because I really like them. They're so goofy and that's why I just think they're the best. So this is Dragon Armor. If I take off my set, as you can see, 
looks pretty good. Definitely a lot better than Dragon Armor when it was first introduced. And I do have a video actually breaking down all of the original sprites for that original version of, uh, of exclusive items. They're all re-sprites. They're all recolorings of sprites. And I kind of break that down in a different episode. So you got the Tobon Giri. Cool little fact about the Tobon Giri. Um, they actually misspelled it and had to rechange it in some of the editions. Very cool. Okay, so here we have the mythical Wyvern. And this is actually perfect because I want to discuss why the mod was in fact illegal because I did mention that at the very start. So I did make a video discussing this a very long time ago, but there's a line in the Terraria Terms of Service that essentially says that you cannot make mods about items that are console exclusive. And this is important because what they're trying to do is incentivize players to go and buy these other editions to experience all of the content. So obviously allowing people to mod that over to PC would stop people going out and getting these extra additions, so they didn't want that. This mod was actually released at a time when that was the rule, so the mod actually had a suppression on it from the forum, which meant that you couldn't download it and it couldn't be promoted or commented on. Well, they actually went ahead and changed the rule, so now you can actually make these mods and the forum thread is now open and available to discuss. So that's why it was illegal and not anymore. So let's do Okram. Now I'm gonna use a setup that I actually used to beat Okram the very first time I beat it in my console series, Race to Okram. So I'm gonna use Chlorophyte and I'm gonna use some basic accessories. These were the accessories that I actually had and the reforges that I had. And I also used a Mega Shark with some bullets. So it's time to make it nighttime and do my very first fight against Okram on the PC edition of Terraria. And going into the future, I really will be checking out this mod with some of my other mod pack series because I think this is so cool. So it supposedly adds in um, the original soundtrack and I'm hearing that right now, to be honest. So that's very cool. I don't have any kind of dashing accessories. I'm literally using what I used in my original series. So if I can beat it here, then I can beat it anywhere. So it's very dark, but I'm guessing that the sprite is actually very similar. I don't know if they've changed it all that much. They did say they were going to change it, so, you know, they probably have. The health is looking good. It has 3,000, wait, 35,000 health. Yeah, that's, that's about right. So I'm guessing that's pretty much exactly aligned with what they had before. Okay. Man, it's so weird playing Terraria without being able to dash. I don't play normal mode anymore. I only ever play expert mode. So I come back onto normal mode and I'm like, this is even harder. Because without dashing, Terraria just feels so sluggish. So it has in fact poisoned me. I've got to be very careful not to die here. No, don't die. Okay. <laughs> it's getting aggressive. It wants blood. Oh, that's why. Oh. <laughs> Okram's been defeated. I wasn't healing during that fight because I just reset up my Terraria to re-download this mod. And uh, yeah, I used a different button to heal that's not been set up. That's why I wasn't healing at all. Wow. Okay, it's H to heal. All right. As you guys know, I use my middle mouse button. Well, we did it. Let's uh, let's find out what's inside of this, uh, of this little loot stash. So we got the Spectral Headgear and the Staff of Eternity. This is actually a brand new thing that the mod added in itself. And it's meant to be a little Okram summon. I love that. That's actually really cute. I love that. I think that's great. And uh, we got some Souls of Blight. And we got this headgear. So very cool. Yeah, I like it. So I think that's going to end today's video, guys. And I just want to say a massive thank you to the creators of this mod. And especially to the people that have been around since that original news video where we spoke about Okram. Because finally, you guys have got a new way to play. So if you are new around here, be sure to click that subscribe button. We're coming up fast to 500,000 subscribers, which is, in fact, an incredible milestone. And, uh, and that's going to do it for today. Right. Thank you all for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Where on earth did I just put my Mega Shark? Um, and why doesn't this pause? Where is it? Oh my god. Oh, it's in the bin. I just put my Mega Shark in the bloody bin. Right, okay. Let's actually get into this. Why did I do that? Silly chippy. Oh my god. There are so many serpents just like last time. Alright, okay. Thankfully, we didn't actually take too much damage in that at all. That was decent. <laughs> My god, that scared the hell out of me. I was so panicky. I don't know why I did that. I think I got a pre-boss fight nerves. Oh my god.